Hello YouTube viewers once again. Welcome to today Depression. This is Discovery World Channel. For some time now, we have been discussing about how you can uh, build a free energy generator for your house. Especially this period we are about to celebrate eczema period, you need to have an energy in your, in your house that can give you what you want. Today I'm going to look at the issue that is very important because questions have been asked on that area many occasions and I want you to have a pre-knowledge. One of our subscribers last time he sent a video on the problems they're having on converting from a petroleum generator to a fire generator and I, I, I believe I made a video on that and I explained some certain things on how what to do to solve that problem. But I, I was still, I'm still going ahead to do some issues because I've done most of this. I see this covered a lot of things need to be done to solve that issue. Today, I'm going to do what to do after conversion of petrol generator to fuel generator. What will you do? When after conversion, what exactly is expected of you? Because to convert, you need a lot of things involved. First of all, you must separate the mechanical sector of of generator. Mm -hmm. I explain about that. What is the mechanical sector and what is the electrical section? What the mechanical sector does is the area where you have the pistol, where the oil wraps to run, and other mechanical function. But the electrical aspect is the area where the work is needed. You know, I've explained that for instance, this generator now, this generator you can see, you can see carburetor, you can see the 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 group side, the all the settings of uh, uh, the coil now for you to do the generator conversion you must separate the system you must remove this mechanical sector out completely and then have this electrical sector which is the coil that is area which most of you have issue now when you separate this out of this now you have a this kind of a system which is this kind of system now this is the the coil and this is the mechanical section which is separated now when you separate the this this mechanical system out of the the generator you are going to have a system of nature depend on what you separated because this one is just in a, a 950 kva generator so it does separation out and then leave the electrical system now now what he, you have to do in this case now he has to bring out a uh, attach the motor this, there are two types of motor I have explained earlier. We we'll talk about the DC motor and the we we'll also talk about the AC motor. For instance, now if you are using the DC motor, which of this type now, you need to introduce batteries because somebody asked that question in one of my channels or one of my videos and say, What why don't you use DC motor instead of the AC? Well, the DC motor it depends on what you want to do because if you have the capability to be running the batteries and then i will do a video on the dc motor because now we have a neutral battery system so it's easier to also run that i'm going to do a very cooperative video on that so some of you want to use dc instead of ac you can also have the same result and also work perfectly so let me explain basically on this area of ac now if you separate on this area separate this this uh, uh the ac out of the the ac the mechanical station out you attach the ac motor in this case, now when you attach AC motor, you need to run the AC motor so that the the, the attached when you attach it to the, the electrical sector, you need a join. That is where you see this this place here. This place you see here. You have to have a join. That join is the one that link the the mechanical sector of the former generator to the new generator, which is electric generator now. So the electrical sector must always remain constant, must not be touched because that area, what it does is to generate light. The electrical sector, all what it does primarily is to generate light. It has nothing else but to generate light. It is the mechanical sector that has the fueling sector, which is the pistol and other things. So what you are doing is to separate it out. You separate them, you separate it, you are telling this, the, the DC motor, at the case maybe if you want to use batteries, or the AC motor, if you want to, to run it direct, or I mean, when you want to generate light, when you, it runs and then it generates its life from the, the, from the alternator to run itself. So this is where, that is where you see this uh, inverter. 
You don't bring inverter to AC motor except you are using batteries to run it. The inverter aspect is to enable the batteries if you are going to connect it to batteries. Then the batteries now cannot the because some bat battery uses DC. So now you have to convert the DC footage, the current to AC so that you can run the motor. That is where you have inverter. Otherwise, you don't need inverter in this case. What you need is for you to connect the AC motor to the AC uh, generator. That is the two marries together to produce the light. That is the system. That is what make it free. But now, as some people are having the issue of because somebody has made that suggestion, say, why don't you introduce a DC, DC motor? I am going to do a video on that. But DC using a DC motor to run a 24-hour generator without issue. So that that will be the next video I'm going to do. So that some of you who are still having difficulty in the work called comparison or join or co converting the the linking up the the AC or AC generator or AC gener uh, alternator to AC uh, motor, you can able to now use the other alternative where which is easier, and then you do a call recharging system because now with the neutral batteries that area is very easy, so you don't have issue on that. Now the next thing now after you do the conversion, which is very important, you remove the tank, remove every other thing, you have to attach capacitor. That is area I want to explain in this video. You must attach the capacitor. The capacitor is the area that enables the current to be boosted, to boost the current. Because when you remove, like now, when you disconnect this thing, you remove the tank, everything. You or the connector, the generator, the generator uh, configuration here is out. You have may, may barrett system like this. So you have to attach the capacitor. The capacitor, what it does, it boosts the voltage. It makes the voltage to be a little higher than the cap uh, than what you initially could have had. You know, sometimes you may have 240, 220 volt or 210. I have a case of people, I mean, one of my students does that I have 210 volt. Then the attack capacitor, it has 230 volt which means it more higher. So the capacitor help to boost the voltage in a very high capacity voltage you can able to carry out a lot of things. So this is another area. So when you do the conversion and you have a step down voltage, please attach the capacitor. The capacitor will make it a little, will make the voltage to be go higher. And that is very important in most of the energy system. Then don't forget that you must do a proper join. I've seen sometimes people don't Disconnect the rod, the rod connecting the, the motor and the electric generator must be properly joined because when you remove the when you disconnect the generator, you may ha likely have a rod. You there's a rod that, that connects the two coils, they connect the coil for AC and call AC generator and the AC motor. So that, that coil must be properly joined. Otherwise, the turning will not give you because sometimes some generator go anti-clockwise, some other, other will go uh, clockwise. So you must observe this procedure so that you have a proper design and proper generator system. So please take a look at this uh, production and give your comment on the channel. And also, from this this rod now, enter the to this point and to this point now. I can see how the, the system is now. This is the directory motor and this is the you know where this if you open generator and you go to where the, the repair generators you will know you, will, you know what this is now this will call scan sharp on generator and that is where you have pistol so the pistol and the cruncher in that pistol you have what we call is a rod that is there and the rod is being removed and then the another rod is connected to link to the, the generator rods which is which is the, the main thing and then to the in turn so you cannot see the simple techniques which many people don't but now you can see it now you can see sample now let's take at this now you can see the whole year. This is the whole year. This is where we have pistol. The pistol is completely removed. It's completely removed. And then the rod is being connected to this generator now. That is where you see the sample now. So for now, if this generator will produce light, that is simple. It's as simple as ABC. Just a technical design, simple how to design it. And then the generator now is being linked to this man here. It means to this man. And the light is being produced. So it's a very simple thing you can do and I believe you can see you can see now you can see sample now now this is the generator point you know we this point in generator system you know it already is where the the plugs are being put now this is the back side we have the front side now this 
this voltage now is being linked to this place all the voltage here is linked to this place now and then the the electric motor electric motor voltage is also linked to this place that's the this master is produced to this point here why this master is linked to this place now you can see a cable that link that joined this generator point to this master point which is the area where these generators produce voltage if you can see you can enter here now then this one now connect from this place so this is very simple things you need to know and that is what i want you to know so if you see sample now you can see the front view of it and you can see the plug of the generator and it is now when you just say on you take off from where and it's a very simple you can pick this design and use it to do your work you can pick design and do your work and you have the best you don't need to go and to sell yourself just pick the design do exactly what you see you have the same result success is science don't allow anyone to discourage you 